Hi and welcome back to Cano's video tutorials. This is Taylor again and today we are going to look at the settings. So changing the setting allows us to customize our Kano operating system to our language um, and also to any of our classroom needs that you may need um, in your education environment. So let's open it up. Um, if you are on the dashboard, you can click the little gear right here um, and that will bring you to settings. If you are in the classic mode, you can actually click on the K and then go to tools to enter settings. So you can see when it comes up, we have a few options available. Um, the keyboard allows us to change the keyboard layout um, to our specific country. So if we want to select Europe and the French keyboard, we can have that as an option. Or if you would like to select a Russian keyboard, you can also do that as well. Um, for changing. It won't, you'll have to know which keys it corresponds to. Um, you could add maybe like stickers to your keyboard to help you if you're making sure that the kids remembered which one. Um, the mouse allows you to change the speed if you want it slow, if you want it fast. Um, this is where you can make those changes. Audio, you would look at this if you're having to choose between the Kano speaker for where your sound comes from or if you have your TV hookup through HDMI to make it come through those speakers. Um, display is if you are wanting, if you are hooking up to maybe a TV you want to change it or if you notice the screen looks a little weird on your Kano screen, you can change that. Also flip to the screen so you can have it either your Kano screen laying down or standing up so this is what you would click for an option. And Wi-Fi lets you connect to a Wi-Fi spot in your area and Bluetooth also lets you connect to your Bluetooth devices. Overclocking is something that will only show up with one option if you have a Raspberry Pi 3. Um, it'll just be set up as standard. In the Raspberry Pi 1 and 2 you'll notice you'll have another option for overclocking. Um, overclocking allows your computer, your Kano to run faster. Um, but the Kano version, the newest one that's out, runs pretty fast, so it's on the standard one now. Then you have accounts. So this is really important for people who are looking to have multiple accounts. You can add an extra account. So say you have a class, um, multiple classes that are using the Kano, you can create multiple accounts for them or individual accounts for your students. Um, when you add each account, you'll actually, when you first log in the first time, they'll be able to go through the starting process of logging into the Kano, following the rabbit, getting used to the keyboard, and they can actually create their own passwords. Um, and this is where you can kind of manage those. Then, if we look at font, if you want to change the font size on the Kano from small, large, or the regular size, you can look here. Um, and in advance, this can be also something for uh, the educators and for parents. If you want to limit the amount of internet access your learners have access to, you can put a parental lock on it so they can only access the apps that need the internet. Um, and then for debugging mode, if you want to just have this enabled so that you can give feedback to customer support with Canon. And then we have about. If you're working with customer support or any like help, sometimes they're going to want to know what version of the operating system you have in the Raspberry Pi. Uh, you can look at this to provide you with any information. And then also notifications if you're getting any specific notices to you, um, how Kano is going to ask about updating or how that information will be going to you, you can put that and display it here. And that's settings. Um, Really you'll go in is if you're working with hooking it up to your TV, looking at the audio and display. If you're looking up to hook to other Bluetooth devices, like if you're going to use the Kano with maybe other makerspace devices that are Bluetooth enabled, this would be really helpful to have them hooked up. And then the keyboard is if you're wanting to type in different languages when you're using WordPad um, to make sure that you have all the keys and letters that you need. So that is settings and before we end for today I'm just going to talk about one other thing just turning the Kano on and off um, when you're in the dashboard on the lower left hand side you're going to see the little power button this is to turn the computer on off or if you're going between classes you can log out so it's really important that you properly shut down the Kano um, when you're done using it 
because it can cause problems to the SD card operating system if you just unplug it and force it to shut down. It's the same thing with a normal laptop or a computer. You should shut it down rather than just forcing the power out. Um, also in classic mode, you'll also see that in the bottom left hand corner, you have the shutdown option there too um, to shut down your Kano properly. And then when you want to turn it on, you just plug in the power and the power will be there. Um, and that's how you kind of just turn it on and off. So that's it for just the settings and just a few little things about the Kano turning it on and off. Join us next time for another tutorial. Thanks for coming by and listening.